So you start working on your debut album, and then the tragedy occurs. Right, right. Uh, in 1994, mm -hmm. your sister, Michelle Tyler, was murdered. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, according to reports, she was found in, in her family home. She was stabbed and strangled. To I death. found her. Yeah, she was. I you, found you her. You found yeah. her. Thank, thank God it was me and not my little brother and not my mom or nobody like that. Somebody that was, you know, strong enough to, to handle that situation. I, I found my sister in her bed dead with a mystical promotional t shirt on saying, I'm not that nigga on it, man. On my birthday. You know, and I, I, actually, she was, she was part of, she had signed, she had just signed with Big Bar Records too. That's the label that. Sice and uh, Chuck and Rob them had it was called Big Boy Records, and she, she, you know she she was signed as an R and B act and I was signed as as a rapper because she actually performed with me the day uh, Leroy the, the day Sice saw me performing at the Treme Center she she was uh, singing background for me because it, it was my first single called Not That Nigga and I was saying I'm not that nigga and I'm not that nigga and she was saying Not That Nigga and you know so that that's 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 how that went down man I I found I found a girl like that man well I mean according to reports. Uh, her boyfriend at the time, Damien mm -hmm. Neville, who's mm -hmm. actually the grandson of mm -hmm. one of the Neville brothers, mm -hmm. he got arrested and charged right. for that murder, but then he was acquitted. He actually, he actually confessed also, then took all that back. You know, his, his family had a lot of influence and, you know, we were, we were nobodies at, the, at that time. So he, he wound up getting off, of, getting off of it. So, you know, but I, I, I was okay. like, I said, okay, that's all right. There, there's, there's more than one way to skin a cat. But, you know, my, my mom, I don't know, the, the day I've, I was gonna hit that fucking door and do something to probably never make it back home. My mom, she must have saw it in my eyes. She said, where you going, son? Uh, she, I don't know how the fuck she knew this. She said, listen, she said, that's, that's whatever you think you're going through is not gonna bring Michelle back. And then I'll have two children gone. You know what I'm saying? One, they probably gonna execute you and everything. I ain't no telling, right? You know, are you gonna go to jail for the rest of your life? Just, you know, let God handle it. And, you know, I, 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 I just took refuge in my music after that. I took refuge in my music. Well, from your point of view, you think he did it? What you mean? He said he did it. He said he did. I, okay. I, I know he did. Absolutely, I know he did it. Yes, of course he did it. Okay. Yes. Yes. And you know, he actually did an interview. I remember. Uh, I saw that he did a you know an audio interview. Uh, oh, he did. Mix show. Okay. Okay. I I, and, I never yeah. seen that. I never seen that. Yeah, he did a he did an interview and he talked about the situation. Mm -hmm. Said the cops were beating him up and he admitted to it. Oh, and and, then, and I can know. I can I, I and I can imagine that because back then, man, it was, it was rough. Police was rough at those times. You know, our city was rough. So I guess that was you know that's that's how they had to handle shit back then. I guess I don't know. You know, and after after a while, uh, I, I, it might have took about seven to eight years for my birthday to just be my birthday and not the day my sister died and my birthday. Cause I, I woke up on my birthday and I, I talked to my mom and she was like, son, today is your birthday. I was like, yeah, it is. She said, no, son, today is just your birthday. And, and it dawned on them. I was like, wow. Not that we forgot about my sister or something, but you know, time heals things. You know, it, you know, it, 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 you know, I felt that little healing happen, you know, so. And also I, 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 I've been forgiving them for that. I, I've forgiven them. I mean, we'll never be friends or no shit like that, but I actually called his family and talked to him and you know, told him, you know, it's, it is what it is, you know. Definitely. Yeah, that must have been tough to actually do that. It, it, well, I mean, after, after a certain amount of years, a lot of years had passed, a lot of years had passed, a lot of growth and maturity. I had been through my drama and foolishness, you know, so definitely. Yeah. Well, and then, you know, that the murder of your sister was kind of a recurring theme in a lot of your albums and songs. Right, and, right, you know, you right. talked about it right. quite a number of times, so. Right. You know, man, sure that, that, that was tough, man. That was, the, that was the first the time, healing. that was the first time I, I that's really close to death. A sibling, man. That once, I, once I found that that girl like that and seen my sister in that kind of situation, I wasn't scared to die no more. And after that, I'm like, wow. And then she died horribly, you know. I, and and in her fucking casket at her funeral, she still had a look of pain on her face. I'm like, man, y'all gonna shut that shit, you know. So my mom never, my mom never saw that. She remember my sister with a beautiful smiling face, and she didn't look. She didn't even look like herself, and that actually helped me at the funeral. Cause even though I knew it was my sister, I didn't see my sister. So I, opposed to me seeing my sister there, like looking like she sleep, that would hurt worse. That would truly hurt worse. So, yeah. but you know, yeah, man, I'm sorry you had to go through that to actually see the body yeah, like that. For real, that's, that's, I can't that, even imagine. Man, that shit was that, scary. That, that shit like, felt like a, a, a movie when you when you. When you're looking at a movie and you, and you find a dead body, where's where normally where's the killer? Right behind you, <laughs> you know. So that's, that man, that shit was scary. So I, you know, I ran upstairs and 
Looked them up. Looked. I said, Lord, that's that's door number one. What the fuck I'm gonna see behind door number two and three? I, my 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 little brother, my nephew had a room. My mom had a room. I went, I went to my nephew in the room first. Opened the door, and cut the light on. I seen them kind of fidget around. I said, okay, they're okay. And I just busted my mom a room. She, wait, she, she, wait, I, she, wait, wait. You mean to tell me that she was killed in the house? In the house. Other family members in the house at the same time. Really, really big house. We didn't have a smart matter. Really, really big house. Upstairs and downstairs. Everybody else was upstairs. And 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 Michelle and her boyfriend, you know, they were real private. They had petition clothes. It was, you know, they, they, he, he had room to do it. He definitely had room to do it. He had room yeah. to do it. You know. And I, I know he regretted it. You know, I, I'm, I'm sure he did. I know he did. You know. You know. Of course, he can't 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 say that he did it. You know. But, uh, you know, I, I know he regretted that. I know he did. And, and still do. 